Question number six, Grant Robertson. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Finance. Does he support the expectation of the Governor of the Reserve Bank that banks would pass on the full official cash rate cut made last week? See if we'll get a different one, Steve. Order. The Honourable Bill English. Mr Speaker, yes, that's usually been the experience in the past, although it's not necessarily immediate or exact. Mortgage lending is a competitive industry and Kiwis can shop around. Some banks have already passed on, I'm advised, the reduction in the OCR. Given some banks cut their rates almost immediately, you'd expect competitive pressure to flow to other banks. But we do run a system where that is a decision made by banks, not by the Governor of the Reserve Bank, or as the opposition is suggesting, by the politicians. Supplementary question, Mr Speaker. Supplementary question, Grant Robertson. Was the Reserve Bank Governor wrong to say on Friday, quote, I'd expect floating rates to come down by 25 points? The Honourable Bill English. Well, Mr Speaker, that's yet to be seen. Uh, but competitive pressures are likely... Competition is likely to put pressure on banks to pass on this element of their funding costs. Supplementary question, Mr Speaker. Supplementary question, Grant Robertson. Is it fair that most of the major banks have cut their deposit rates by the full 25 basis points of the OCR cut, but have not done the same in terms of rates for borrowing? The Honourable Bill English. Mr Speaker, that's a matter the members should take up with the banks. Given, given, given that the... Uh, cut in the OCR occurred just at the end of last week. It may take some time for competitive pressures to flow through, but I think most New Zealanders would support the notion that the threat of competition is probably a more reliable impact on their interest rates than the threat of politicians who talk about strong-arming and then legislating banks. If the, if the opposition want to run a bank, they should apply for a job running the bank. Now, supplementary question, Mr Speaker. Order. Supp order. Supplementary question, Grant Robertson. Does he think that the goal of the Reserve Bank Governor in cutting the official cash rate last week was to prop up the profits of banks? The Honourable Bill English. Mr Speaker, you'd need to ask the Reserve Bank Governor. He's given, he's given uh, a number of interviews and, as far as I know, he hasn't actually... Um, he hasn't actually uh, specified that as a goal. But the member needs to bear in mind, if it's going to be legally required they pass on cuts in the OCR, will they be legally required to raise interest rates every time the OCR is put up? And I suspect the member doesn't believe that. Supplementary question. Supplementary question, Grant Robertson. Why will he not take the side of New Zealand borrowers and savers and call on the banks to pass on the OCR cut, or is he that out of touch that he thinks putting the interests of overseas banks ahead of New Zealanders is what his job is? The Honourable Mr. Speaker, that's a ridiculous way to uh, describe the issue. What the banks will listen to is customers shopping around. That will have a great deal more influence on their behaviour than politicians, than politicians making statements that, than politicians making statements they can't follow through on. Order, order. Question number seven, Ron Mark. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.